everybody. So I've brushed through my hair, I've washed it. I'm gonna use Beautifying Serum two pumps off. And I absolutely adore this, as you'll see in a lot of my videos, I use it for a lot of things a lot of the time because it's just a fantastic treatment serum. So I start through the mid lengths and ends and work through, like so. And then work through the back, because I can still feel it in my hands. And then with the last bits, I do really work them into my little alfalfas, my little front pieces. These are the bits that take the brunt of everything. Then I've been using recently, this is a new um, thing to my little collection, is um, the scalp treatment because my scalp has been playing up recently. So um, I've been spraying this through to help stimulate, because you can see it's quite fine here. If you see them in some of my other videos. That's always been, well actually didn't, it all just fell out one time. So ever since then it never really like came back quite the same. So every now and again, when I'm a bit stressed or a bit bummed down, or even if I'm unwell, and my body goes into a stress mode, um, then yeah, I notice I shed a little bit, but I just put it on these areas because through the top here is quite okay. Then I spritz a little bit here. And then I'm gonna be using Retain. I used this yesterday on yesterday's videos. Like I said, it's a wet and dry heat protection. And so we spritz this all the way through. and refocus on these front pieces. because, like I said, they get attacked the most. So, lovely. You're not gonna hear me. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna kind of speed up this bit, but what I do is I dry my hair off to about 70% dry. Then you'll see me stop, and then I'm gonna use my hedgehog um, clips, my eagle clips, which I absolutely love. And I'm gonna use them and um, I'm going to pre-section and then I'm going to use a 55mm um, round brush to help just smooth through the ends. Um, a blow dry shouldn't be like necessarily right from the beginning, you can do a lot of prep work first. Um, and then I've just detangled my hair with the HH Simpson Wonder Brush, I love that. So yeah, this is just a real simple blow dry, it's not going to be anything too outrageous um, because it's a Sunday and I just want to be real for you what I actually do. So I'll shut up. And I'll get blow drying. Oh, just so you know, I use a Parlux hairdryer. This is a professional hairdryer. Probably wouldn't recommend it for people that aren't hairdressers because it is super powerful. Um, and not always necessarily the most powerful hair dryers are, are going to be the best for your hair. If you're not good at blow drying, you're going to cause a lot more problems. Also, I'd just like to add, nozzles are super, super important, super, super important. And you'll see when I'm blow drying, I always keep the airflow down, even when I'm speed drying. I never go, so think of it like a compass. This is zero. I'm either going to be at like, like this or like this. I'm never going to blow dry up. So if you blow dry up into the hair, you're pushing all the cuticles the wrong way. It's going to make your hair quite fluffy and quite big as well. And we don't want to do that. I just want a nice, simple, straightforward, quick blow dry. That's all. Good for if you've got kids on the go and you've got to get, I don't have children, so it's just me getting ready. But I can imagine that when you've got two kids, you've got to get ready for school, get yourself out to work. Like it's going to be, you need precious moments. So, One last thing, I have it on full speed, medium temperature. All right. So what I thought I'd do is a little voiceover here because it's really difficult to talk and have the hair dry go in and for you to get good quality sound. So what I'm doing here is I'm drying the hair off to about 70% dry and I do really focus on getting them roots and lifting the hair up because it's important to get it dry evenly throughout. When you're speed drying, a lot of people tend to just dry off the top layer of the hair, when actually you need to really work the hair dryer through, and, but don't blow dry the hair backwards. 
So what I mean by that is you can see, if you look at my nozzle, I'm constantly facing it towards the ends of my hair. I don't actually blow the air flow backwards into my scalp. I always blow dry it down towards the tips of my hair. So you can see I'm separating the hair around and I'm moving that hair dryer quite a lot there. Um, the reason I shake the hair dryer is just purely for the fact I don't want to burn my hair or scalp. So just keep that airflow moving. And you see I iron right through to the ends there. So I use my fingers, kind of like a brush, and I'm smoothing through the front areas with my little alfalfas, um, or little baby hairs, whatever you want to call them, but they're quite curly and they're quite annoying, so I like to do that there. So you see, over my parting side, I've flipped it over, so now I'm going to go back over this side and work on my little alfalfas. And just lift that hair through. And don't forget about the back there, a lot of people really focus on the front and then what ends up happening is the front of your hair becomes um, really, really dry, the back of the hair is sopping wet, you start blow drying and then you end up having this fluffy, horrible flat blow dry. So you need to work the underneath, through the back, move around quite a lot and uh, really try and smooth it. If you've got curly hair, use your hands to really smooth that hair out and really iron it down with the uh, hair dryer before you start. using a little brush there just because I don't want to get my hair knotty and I just want to smooth it all through from the rough blow dry. Now as you'll see from a lot of my other videos and um, tutorials I always always promote pre-sectioning so that's what I'm doing here <laughs> a little bit difficult because the hair is damp not like sopping wet and it's not bone dry so the hair does tend to tangle but what I tend to do in all of my videos when I'm doing my own hair is I will section the hair off before I do any of the blow drying any of the curling I feel like this really really helps speed up a lot of the styling time because half the time we get knotty and it all gets a bit tangled so how I take my sections is usually from my temples and depending where my parting is, so I have my parting off to the side, so I do have the top section slightly larger. Then I usually go down, just sort of by my eyebrows, and I work back with my fingers. Then usually sort of above my ears, and I do kind of angle the back section there that I've just clipped up a little bit further down, and then I have that bottom section there. And uh, we're going to start blow drying. Um, this is a little tip from me to you, a little special one for you. I heat my brush up. It's a ceramic um, Moroccan oil 55 um, round brush. I'm just testing it there to see if it's hot enough. Um, and I do this so that as soon as my brush goes into that section, it's going to start blow drying and smoothing the hair through. Because if you're going in with a cold brush, the hair dryer's got to heat your hair up and that brush. Whereas if your brush is already warm going in, it's going to do half the job for you. Now, a really important thing, if you want to create more of a volume when you're blow drying, where your brush is positioned and the hair going over it is so important. So at the moment, I'm working what's called technically on base. So you see my hairbrush goes straight onto where that section is. If you want to have a slightly smoother finish, then you need to pull that brush down so the hair from the root is pulling down. If you want more lift, then you need to do a little bit of over-directing, which is pulling it up. And what that's going to do is it directs the hair up and over to create more lift. So the more lift you want, the more that hairbrush must be positioned up. So if you see there, the brush is going straight onto section, so the hair comes out from the head and straight over the brush. It doesn't go down, it doesn't go up, it just goes straight over. So this is on base. And I roll down, and what we're aiming to do is keep that nozzle, the airflow down, and push that airflow to the ends of the hair, just to help smooth through so we get that nice shine. The flatter the cuticles on the hair are, the shinier your hair will be. So things that can cause your hair and the cuticles not to be shiny, over processing, bleaching too much, over heat styling, not using the right heat protection. Ladies, if you are not protecting your hair, it's the equivalent of laying in the sun for like six hours and then not having any sun cream on and then being shocked that you got sunburn. Like these tools, straighteners, hair dryers, curling tongs, they get to some serious heats. So we need to make sure that we're preventing that damage rather than trying to cure it once it's happened. Because once your hair is damaged and split, there's no coming back from that. So we need to make sure that we are preventing that damage. What you might see as well, um, if you notice, I actually swap my hands over. And that is the biggest thing when you're learning to blow dry your own hair, is actually using both of your hands. That's the hardest thing, is becoming a little bit ambidextrous. So you will see that I will swap my hands over, but 
practice makes perfect. I do this every day and I have done for the last 15 years. So yeah, um, it's something that you just need to perfect and you will get the burn on them arms. Um, but that's why I do the speed drying beforehand to dry most of the um, water weight off so that we're not sitting in this particular blow dryer for very long. So if, yeah, if you actually sort of see from me actually starting the blow dryer to finishing, it's usually about sort of 15 minutes and I spend a good sort of 50% of the time doing the speed dry off so then I'm just using this time here to perfect through. So going back to the on and off space, can you see I'm pulling that hair up, doing a little fancy there hair flick. Um, but I'm pulling the hair up there because I do want to create a little bit extra lift and I focus right to the ends. Don't forget about them ends, ladies. Right to the ends. And it doesn't matter if it's a hair fall out. And I'm just scooping there because I just want it. It's not going to be the perfect blow dry. This is an everyday, good, quick, get me in and out, hair washing day blow dry. <laughs> So I use a kind of scooping motion there because I'm by my ears. I know there's no hair underneath there that I can't accidentally pick up. So I just scoop my brush underneath because I know I'm not going to over blow dry any hair underneath. Because I pre-sectioned, bosh, out comes that clip. There we go. Happy days. Obviously, as you get higher and higher, the hair does tend to get a little bit kinky. So if you need to brush it out, give it a little brush through. So you see I do that with my brush already. And I'm getting that hair in the right position. A little bit of hair fell out the back. Not a problem. I'll pick it up on the next section. If you blow dry hair out the section, don't worry. Focus on the hair that is in that brush. But can you see I'm sort of going, I'm scooping and I'm pulling up because I want that little bit extra lift there. Scoop that hair up right to the ends. You see, I don't forget about the ends. We blow dry and root to tip. Right down to them ends. And really kind of need to stretch and iron that hair out because I'm getting a bit bit more aggressive now coming to the top but just scooping and pulling that hair through another big advice tip um however you want to take this but one of my biggest things that I say to my customers when I'm doing their hair is do not feel you have to blow dry your hair the same way as a hairdresser because you're at a massive disadvantage you're working with a mirror that is back to front you cannot maneuver yourself around your hair you cannot see the back of your head whereas I'm working from above I've got both my hands I can see directly on top of your head so it's very very different so even myself as a hairdresser I will blow dry my hair slightly different as if I was a human blow drying my hair to if I was a hairdresser blow drying your hair. So we need to kind of sometimes contortion ourselves into slightly different um, positions. We need to hold the hairdryer in a slightly different way. You might need to hold it kind of more by the sort of trunk of the hairdryer rather than the handle. Um, but if you have to kind of hunch over to get that lift because your shoulders hurt, then that's what you need to do because you're working from underneath. So don't ever worry and think, well, the hairdresser doesn't put the hairdryer down. The hairdresser doesn't do that. Well, you're not a hairdresser and you have very, very different different um, blow drying advantages and disadvantages. So you have the advantage of heat that you'll be able to tell what's getting hot on your scalp. Um, I can't tell how hot things are feeling on your scalp so I have to always edge on the side of caution. So always kind of consider that as well that we have disadvantages and advantages from different areas but don't try and have to position yourself in a certain way. So just in case you're wondering why I put that second clip in, um, a little bit of hair where I don't section the clips too tightly because I don't want to create kinks in the hair, um, it's starting to kind of bag down. So I just put that extra clip in there just to hold that hair up out of the way. Because you had to tilt my head over as well. So don't worry about kind of tilting your head because I'm lifting that over just to make it a lot easier for myself. I'm really focused on the ends, rolling back up there just to create a nice rounded shape for me so it doesn't flick out because my hair always has a tendency to kick out. It's at that horrible length where it's kind of not quite a proper bob, but it's not mid-length and it's hitting the shoulders. So yeah, if you're in that position, you, you know, <laughs> you know the pain. But yeah, don't be afraid to kind of brush your hair through. Um, but try not to kind of, if you're doing a body blow dryer, try not to brush your hair through too much because you will knock out a lot of that heat. Um, so I will do a body blow dryer at another time. Um, but this is our Speedy Gonzalez Everyday Good Finish Blow Dryer.
And I find doing a blow dryer on hair washing day rather than just letting your hair dry by itself, I find it doesn't get as greasy as quickly. When I wake up the next morning, um, it's not as crazy with its waves. Um, I just find that it lasts a lot longer. And it's, I do feel like it's better for the hair because you're not leaving your hair in that really fragile state for a prolonged amount of time. Because when your hair's wet, it's extremely fragile. So if it's rubbing against a cotton pillowcase or you're just tying it back in a scrunchie, the hair can stretch when it's wet. Um, as I'm sure you've probably seen before when your hair's wet. And if you haven't, when you're putting conditioner, if, if a couple of hairs come out, just wrap them around your fingers and just gently tug at them and you'll see that they will they will kind of stretch a little bit. They should stretch about 30%. So that's not um, your hair in bad condition. If it really is elasticy, then yeah, you might need some protein treatments in there. But it should stretch a little bit of a, a 30% there. Now what I'm doing is I'm just using the hairdryer at the ends just to really smooth through. I use my round brush just to flick them ends just to make sure they're tucking under. Just to really kind of smooth through. Just to make sure everything's completely dry. If the hair's not completely bone dry, then it will, if you've got curly hair or wavy hair or any kind of kink in there, if it's not completely blow, um, blow dried, bone dry, then you will get the hair creep back to its natural state. So if your natural state is wavy, your natural state is fluffy, your natural state is frizzy, and your hair is not 100% bone dry, then um you are going to get that fluffy, frizzy hair creep back in. So here, I said to you about on base, off base. So this is a little bit of an over direction. You see, I'm really pulling it up and forward, up and forward, because I do like the hair to kind of sit back. I naturally tuck my hair behind my ears. I probably should have a middle part in, but I like having it over to the side, um, but it is heavy. It's due a haircut, as we all are at the, in lockdown at the moment. Um, so us hairdressers, we're all... Feeling the pain as well. I think I'm going to get my other half to give my hair a little cut with the uh, the clippers just to get the ends off. But what I'm doing here is I'm just blasting through with the hair dryer on that top section. So I've done most of it with the hair hairbrush now, and I just want to make sure it's completely dry. I use my H H Simmerson Wonder Brush just to polish off them ends, just to make sure that we are getting a nice smooth finish to get rid of any fluffiness. So this is the finished result of the blow dryer. Um, so this is just a really quick kind of finish. It's not necessarily the most polished blow dry. Um, this is just a quick everyday um, kind of finish to the hair. So something that is, you can implement it into your everyday routine if you wash your hair every day, um, or if you just want to speed up a bit of time, or you just want a quick finish simple easy um, and there's a few different techniques in there as well um, that you can implement in different blow dries as well and um, because my hair is slightly shorter it's a little bit more difficult to show you curly blow dries and things like that um, but I might do some videos where I do it on a block and I can show you the techniques and then you can start to apply them to your hair but thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, like this video as well and comment on the different um, videos you would like to see next would be great but thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys soon